folks. Hello everybody, let's have fun today. Right, me and Robbie have finally made it back down to the plot after all the snow has gone. First of all, apologies, it is a little bit windy. We have got the dead, dead cat mic on there to try and stop the wind noise, but it might get a bit blowy at times up here on the plot. What we're going to do today is we've got three new pallet collars here to go out. So this area over here at the allotment that we've not really touched yet, we're going to have the fruit cage over here, then we're going to have a row of pallet collars next to it, then we've got a path and then we've got the rhubarb bed. So what I'll do, I'll hook the camera up just over there, we'll be back with you in two minutes and show you how we're going to put these pallet collars in. Right, so we've moved over here next to where we're going to put the pallet collars out. It really doesn't take a lot of prep to get these out. There's a couple of little jobs I need to do first though. Right where I'm standing here, you might not be able to see it because we've got a different camera today. Robbie has helpfully dug a massive hole at some point on the allotment. I made a hole! You did, yes. So we're Yay. going to have to fill that in before we put the pallet Good collar water. down here. We've also got some raspberry canes here. Some of them are dead, some of them are still going. We're just going to lift them and we're just going to move them over there next to the ones on the fence. So we'll get up with that job first. You don't need to see me doing that, it's a bit boring digging up some raspberry canes. I'll be back with you soon and I'll show you how we're going to put those pallet collars out. Right, so we've cleared all this area. Uh, we haven't really dug a lot, so all I've done is took the raspberry canes over there and I've just moved them over that way a little bit, ready to be replanted. And in this area here, we can see we've already put one of the pallet collars down and all I've done there is lined that with cardboard on the top. And I've got the fork resting on there at the moment because there's no soil in there and it's really windy today so we don't want all that cardboard blowing away. And that's, that's really how simple it is to put these things down. And the great thing is, where the hinges are on each corner, the sort of little metal prongs that, that poke it out, you push them into the soil and that's it staying in place. We'll fill this with soil. Just a little bit, mine, not much at the moment because what, what I want to happen is for the, the rain and the water because we're we're middle of February now and I don't want these ready for spring so I want the water from the rain to soak all the way through that soil really getting that cardboard to start breaking it down so the cardboard's going to act as a weed suppressant we'll get the soil and some compost on top and get some nutrition in there get that cardboard broken down and that's it ready for the springtime what I'll do now is we've measured this out Robbie and I, Robbie was doing some great maths figuring out the measurements there we're going to put these other two pallet collars in there and we'll keep the camera on this time so you can see just how simple it is. No problem to let this land to the ground behind us, nothing like that. We're just going to put them in and that's the great thing about this building no method, you don't dig up the soil or anything. You just put that layer of cardboard in there, put the soil on top, job done, ready to go to plant some stuff in it. Right, we'll get them, we're putting these other two in. Come on then buddy. about getting deliveries these days is they come with cardboard boxes so this came with one of those uh, seven cell heated propagators so I'm going to use the cardboard from that pop it in there job done 
road needs a little bit of tidying up around the edges, but we'll get that done. We'll get these filled up with soil, give them a month or two. Once we start getting into sort of March, April time, these will be absolutely perfect for getting things planted out. And that's just how easy that is. You've seen that's, that's taken us maybe about half an hour to get this tree in, and that's what's filled them in cover and rocky dug and digging out those raspberry canes and moving them over there. Okie dokie, folks. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you've seen today, you want to see what else we're up to, please click the like and subscribe buttons below. And we'll be back with you shortly to show you what else we're up to. Bye for now. Bye, everybody. See you in the next video.